Justin Tarver, welcome to AustraliaMusician.com.au, uh, one half of Little Georgia. I yeah. Unfortunately, Ashley yeah. couldn't be with us today. But, yeah. Uh, Next time. <laughs> Next time, yeah. Why don't you go back a, a little bit first and uh, just talk about what you grew up listening to? What were your influences? Uh, I would have to say my father was a, a huge influence with the, the taste of music that I like today. Um, and it all really started off um, in the old station wagon heading down the dirt tracks to the surf. There would always be a bit of Neil Young or Pink Floyd, Allman Brothers, something along those lines pumping on the, on the car stereo. So, so that's where it really started. We're talking about Little Georgia in, in this instance. Uh, how long have you known Ashley? Where did you guys meet? Um, well, Ash and I have sort of been running into each other over the last 10 years. Um, we are both in different projects and continually touring around and um, yeah we'd always run into each other, have a great time, have a few laughs and then go our separate ways because we were doing totally different things and um, it was the end of 2014 that um, we got together to do a solo tour together and at the end of sort of each set we would get up together and do a couple of duets and it just felt really fun and, and it just really worked so uh, we decided to start 2015 um, with this new project Little Georgia and uh, yeah we took it to the Tamworth Country Music Festival and just just started busking on the streets and tested out our new songs and we sort of haven't looked back since then so it's been great. I'm alone that's how I read the repeat I'm a gypsy I'm a traveling soul The songs of this album, how did they come together? Um, it's a mixture of uh, just stories from the last sort of year, two years um, of Ashley and I being on the road. Um, some of the songs we wrote together, um, some of the other songs are stories that I've taken from my, from my adventure over the last few years and some of the other songs are you know stories from Ash's sort of side of things. So um, the main thing is though that we were able to get together and make them our songs because we both understood what each other was singing about and, 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 and talking about. So yeah, it feels like a little, um, yeah, really comfortable and, and true and honest album for us. How many albums you used as benchmarks for a kind of spirit you were trying to capture? Uh, no, to be honest, the whole um, idea behind this album was uh, Ashley and I sort of in the past had a couple of bad experiences in the studio and um, we just wanted to go somewhere where we could play our music and do it our way and on our on our time. So we went down to, uh, I have a, a little farm down uh, in southwest Victoria. We went down there for, for the week with a few friends and uh, we were actually very lucky that a, a friend of ours had an old, um, an old tape machine. So he, he brought that along and we basically just sat around, ate food as a big family, um, had a few drinks and just started playing music when it felt right. And, and we did that over a week and, and, um, and basically at the end of it we, we got eight tracks that are just us being us and, and that's what people are getting when they buy this album is, you know, musicians sitting in a room and playing music. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a bit about the, the gear that you play, your, your main guitar, are there any romantic stories to how you acquired that? Um, well, Ashley's um, got a beautiful hummingbird and she's had that for years now on the road and it's it's got dints and batters all through it and um, but like, like uh, a lot of good things um, they get better with age <laughs> and so her guitars yeah just her little her little pride and joy and um, so she was yeah, playing playing that um, I had um, an old Eston guitar which is um, I think they were Italian made guitars but when they were imported to Australia they were given the name Eston and I just borrowed it off um, my brother-in-law who actually got it off um, my father-in-law um, and yeah it's just a family a family sort of heirloom guitar I guess and I just it sounds nice so I wanted to play that on this album and so that's what I used and we had a whole collection of instruments that we would just pull out and try for each different song so yeah. I, I see photos of you touring around the world with the various musical projects that you do. And how have you been able to create such an interesting musical uh, career? I, I guess when when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> um, 
I think anything is achievable if, if you really want to achieve it. So that's the whole philosophy behind what Ashley and I have done in our solo careers, but also what we're doing with this project. If we feel like we want to go across to America, then we work our asses off so that we can go across and tour in America. So that's kind of, yeah, the philosophy, philosophy behind things is, yeah, get out there and do it. Yeah. What are you most proud of musically in your career? Um, um, I'm very proud that, um, I think actually I'll speak for both Ashley and I here, we're very proud that we've stuck to our guns and we're just doing what we want to do and doing it our way and we're not restricted that way. We, we can actually kind of play the music we want to play and, and so yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty proud about that um, because it's such a tough industry and it is so easy to for the whole feel like the whole weight of the world is just pulling you down but um, I think if you really believe in, in something you know you, you can get there so. All right, Justin, thanks for your time. thank you so much Greg appreciate it I'm a gypsy I'm a traveling soul when I die I'll find